But Jesus, why is it always freeze in the beginning? Holy crap! Why, stupid Mac? He's... Uh. Okay. Hey, there's to find people. Oh, my pillow. Jesus Christ. I kind of made my bed. I, I was like, I don't want you to see my super comfy blankies. So I covered them up a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, here, you're, you're retarded. So, uh, I am aware of what I look like, and I look really bad. But that's how I always look, so, mission accomplished. Uh, I, I got uh, pimp zit butt stupid there, and I, I wanted to just leave, but, you know, you can't just say that. Like, I can, I can be like, yo, banana! leave and you know it can't it can't talk and it can't walk so it's not gonna leave unless I eat it and is it really leaving if I eat it <laughs> so yeah stuff to talk about uh it's still cold Jesus Christ Wisconsin why are you so cold negative like 60 degrees in some places ah you make it so I don't want to go outside, even though I never go outside. It makes it so I don't even want to even think about going outside. Holy crap! No! You're cold! You are way too cold. I would die. I will not die. I wouldn't like it. I would highly dislike it. That's what I'll say. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's open this banana. Let's open up the way the monkeys do it. Ugh. This banana's a little, got a little, mm. I blame my nephew. He likes, he likes to pick up our fruit and then throw it. He's, he's not the best at fruit. Mmm, no, no, no. Oh. I really like bananas. There we go. Wait, bananas aren't refreshing, they're just kind of good. Oh well. So, what else? I finally got my graphics card for my... That thing. Do you want to see it? It's... What are you doing? What you doing, MacGyver? <clears throat> you know, I'll just, I'll just pull it out. Shut up! You don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about graphics card, you dirty people. Maybe I'm just the one that's stupid. I don't know. Since I'm cheap and I don't have tons of the the uh, greenbacks as the ghetto rich people, I don't know. People call them that sometimes. I don't usually unless it was just that time. But yeah, graphics card. It's uh, the brand. The brand is Power Color, which is pretty much the cheapest brand. But it was one of the only ones that. Uh, so this is a 6670. Uh, slightly older. Uh, I think it came out in 2011. Don't really care about that because for the price and performance, it's pretty good. Since it works with, it will uh, natively work in dual graphics mode, aka uh, Crossfire, with my uh, A6 5400. For I think it's 5400. Not exactly sure. And it's just a dual core, four gigahertz, gigahertz. Yeah. Um, and this is running at I think 800 megahertz usually. And it's got two gigs of the good G G G G G G G D D R five. That's that's the ticket. Uh, and I think Power Color is one of the only few that I could find for that was less than a hundred dollars for two gigs of uh, RAM on one of these. Otherwise, it's like you want to spend hundred fifty, eh? And I'm like, no. My next upgrade is going to be a sixty-seven ninety. I think or no. 77.90, I think? 
it's like uh, 80 bucks, 90, 100, something like that. That's going to be in a while, though. This works fine for now. A lot of games don't utilize the, the dual graphics or crossfire, which really sucks. So I kind of have to turn that off sometimes if I want to play certain games. But oh, I like to run games at good frames and do stuff. And plus, it kind of looks cool. You know, graphics cards usually look pretty. And if you, you can kind of see it, it's the, it's the 2 gig. It's the 512 meg, 1 gig, and mine's the bottom, 2 gig. And this is the uh, R93KC, not the R83KC. And this has got uh, DVI and like a VGA and HDMI. Well, it's the stupid monitor that I have is stupid, and the card's stupid, and I need a new one because it's like, oh, you want everything to be blue? I will make everything blue, or a tint of blue. Oh, God. And I'm like, I want things to look normal. Please, cord. And then I, like, jimmy the cord around, and then I flipped it around, and then it worked, and the next day it didn't, and I'm like, ah, oh, stupid. And I know it's the cord. Because, uh, the screen I've hooked up before in, like, the little normal stuff. The, the, the little bouncy thing that, you know, you never hits the corners exactly, and when it does, you know, the universe explodes. But, yeah, and I hooked it up to my TV and HDMI, and that worked fine. It's like, well, I don't want to buy another monitor because I don't want to do that. So, I don't know where this guy's going to actually end up. He's, he's in the big case, and he's all right for being about two hundred and fifty bucks. I could run uh, what is that game called? Uh, yeah, oh, mm, uh, eh, 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 oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm thinking. Dad. Bioshock Infinite. I can run that on high or on ultra, but I have to turn some of the stuff down. It seems to run fine usually. Uh, at least, um, runs fine. And yeah, ultra. If I turn some other crap down, like maybe was it the light rays and some shading? Shading always makes things faster if you turn it off. It's like whoa, shadows. Let's turn those to low instead of high. Holy crap! I just got an extra 20 frames a second! Woo! But yeah, pretty cool. I'm, I'm happy with 250 bucks to be able to do that. This iMac, $1,200. Play it at normal, medium, maybe? I don't remember. So let's put this bad boy back. Oh, I had to do some really ghetto stuff, too, to be able to make it fit. Because my SATA ports, uh, it covers up, or not covers up SATA ports, but the SATA ports urgh, are almost covered by it. And I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's uh, find a way to make it so I can make the SATA ports go. So I had to take the cords, and I had to, like, shave them down to almost nothing. You can buy specific, uh like 90 degree angle cords, and I'm like, I'm poor! No! So, <laughs> I, I like taking stuff apart, I love building things, so it's just like, well, I got two of these SATA cords, they are cables, to like red, and I'm like, well, let's, uh, let's go to town on it. And, you know, did it, bent it, it's pretty much like a 90 degree one now, and works fine! Who knows if it's gonna stand up to the test of time, but, Words! Oh, I got coffee. I got some Sumatran something or another. It's actually pretty good because it made my house smell kind of weird, but it it was actually a very powerful smell that made my my Keurig is just like, or mine. The Keurig I got my dad, it's just like, I, I use it the most out of every, anyone in the house. But, oh well. <laughs> It's like, made my house smell like a weird, weird coffee smell, like, I don't know, weird coffee smell, really powerful, and then this stuff is just like, ooh, uh, it's bold, 
big letters on the little canister capsule pod. It's like, bold! And I'm like, oh, I like bold stuff. You know, bold fonts. Bulls. Actually, I don't like bulls. Bulls are neat. Uh, bulldogs are kind of cool. Kind of look goofy, but... Who am I to judge? And, yeah, um, it's... It's smooth. I put just a little bit of cream, you know, like, pour some, some cream. And it's smooth, but it's kind of got like a... Hmm. Like a sour... Not... Hmm, how do we describe that? Almost a sourness to it, but it's not stupid light gulp. Yeah, thank you, thank you, computer, for actually recognizing. Me. Not bad. Um, I haven't found a coffee that like I actually really, really enjoy. Usually, coffee's coffee. I'm like, that's not bad. That's that's coffee. I wish I could get the smoothness of this coffee. And then the taste of this other stuff that we usually get, which is just toasted nut. But, um, you know, I'm not an alchemist. I can't make coffee into better coffee. I could make them breed, but I don't have, I don't have access to the plants. Some coffee is stupid, and it's like, you want to spend $800 on a single cup of coffee? That uh, a cat ate the bean and pooped it out, and we took that and cleaned it and then made coffee from it. Okay, and I'm like, ah, ah, mmm. I, I usually don't like that. Uh, there's like a little sip left. Like the pepper's good. I also got water. I got all kinds of drinks and drinks. Actually, I just. Coffee and water are the only things I have left now. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna do again? Mmm. Mmm. The power button for my computer is really ghetto, but I like it because I kind of I took it from my other case, and then I'm like, well, that it kind of needs the case to work properly because it's got the spacing and everything, so I kind of made some. Some uh, little rubber things that go in it out of these uh, spacers that were from a hard drive. Um, these are supposed to do like vibration reduction, and it just kind of made those cut those to size, and then did some Jimmy Jam in it, and then put some tape on it, and then now it's got like a really clicky goodness. It's got like a little stick to that's attached because I needed something to attach to. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm happy about that. I love fruit. Mm. Anything else Dan should talk about? Game of Thrones is coming back soon! Woo! It's like... April... No, this Sunday there's gonna be a trailer, and then I uh, think April 4th or something, it's gonna be like, Yo dog, snippity diggity! Game of Thrones, and I'm gonna be all like, ah, ah, Game of Thrones, gotta watch. Ah, I want to see more Dragon Hagar. I really hope he comes back. Dragon Hagar, uh, Tyrion, which you know he's gonna, he's gonna be there because you know he's kind of a big part. Uh, Sandra Clegane, because freaking the dog's awesome. Uh, who else? I wish Cereal Pharrell would come back too, but you know. Who knows what happens to him? All the people from Bravo seem to just. <sighs> but since Jack and Figar gave uh, Arya a little coin that says, well, uh, yeah, find any man from Bravo and say, uh, Valamogulis. I mean, that's it. I haven't watched Game of Thrones in a long time. And Huz Either he'll show up or. Yeah, he'll show up. So it's like, well, she's got that coin. She's gotta use it, you know? So hope she uses it and gets some more Jacken. Even though Jacken's gonna look stupid because he changed his face to that other guy's face. At least he can change faces. That's kind of cool. Um. Mmm. 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 I don't know what else to talk about. 
go on little tangents about random stuff, and then I forget things, and then it comes back to me, and then it goes away again. I've been watching a lot of Adam Savage stuff from Tested. He's freaking cool. I love, he's like my hero. Him and Ben Heckendorn. Ugh! Adam Savage and Ben Heckendorn. If they just like, did some sort of mind meld and made stuff, that'd be awesome. Because Ben hacks like, hacks things and does techish more stuff. And then Adam Savage is more of like a, Builds things. He likes to he likes to build lots of stuff. Like he's building a dodo bird. He's building three of them. He's got a skeleton he made out of sculpty or super sculpty. Eh. Then he bought like the skeletonish thing, kind of looking prototip type. And he's gonna make a dead dodo. You know, make a dead dodo. So you pick it up and it's gonna be all like <laughs> limp. And then you're just like, well, yeah, that's a dead dodo bird. Also, been watching a lot of Yorg. I don't know what his last name is. Yorg. Let me look at that. Yorg Sprave. Sprav. He's a German dude. He makes slingshots. He's awesome too. He's like, oh, I just came up with this new one, and I'm like, how do you just come up with that? You just, you just built like a freaking gigantic slingshot. How about that? Hey, he's he. He's, Big German dude, you know, his arms are like that, and muscle, and I'm like, well, lucky you, because I would be scared to, to be in a fight with you. I would just run away. <laughs> so I think that's going to be it for this episode. Yeah, there's, there's absolutely nothing in there. And by nothing, I mean, like, almost nothing. Yeah, so I hope everyone's a great day. And a great night. Whatever time you, you're watching this. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Here I come from. Camp Granada. When I, when I said something that reminded me of that. I had a day. Have a good day. I don't know. Whatever I said made me think of that. So... Have one of those good day, night, after, seven Z's, eleven Z's, second breakfast, the Hobbit. Ah, the Hobbit. Distillation of smog. Good. Thought a lot more was going to happen in it, but, mmm. Distillation of smog. You know, it's good. Good. Watch it. If you like the Middle Earth and distillation of smog. And just smog in general. Okay. Have a great thing, day, evening, everything else, people. And I will hopefully make a new video soon, maybe not, I don't know, because Dan's got a strange schedule of everything. Bye!